The history behind this photograph is very unique. This photograph we didn't know existed until 2013. It was part of a collection of a time capsule called the Century Chest, the Oklahoma Century Chest. It was buried in 1913 and excavated in 2013, and it's on exhibit at the Oklahoma History Center. This photo is unique in that you're looking straight down this wagon road, three weeks growth, three weeks in to Oklahoma City being a city. And this is Harvey Street. Everybody knows where Harvey Street is in Oklahoma City. The wagon road turned into Harvey Street. And we know that because there are six buildings right in the center of the, of the image that were prefabricated. And Mr. Overholster, uh, who was a prominent citizen, brought these prefabricated buildings in on the train and then had them put right up and we knew exactly where they were, so we were able to see what street did that turn into. And it was Harvey Street in Oklahoma City. This is one of those photographs that didn't exist until 2013 to us today. Uh, but once the Century Chest was open and we found these wonderful, uh, unique Oklahoma history uh, treasures, uh, now we can share this with the rest of the world. Look at the color of this poster. Again, this is from the Oklahoma Century Chest. We didn't know this poster existed until 2013. But look at the color, the reds, uh, the yellows. This is a poster advertising the State Fair of Oklahoma. Everyone goes to the fair. But this is the State Fair in 1912. And the fair, fairgrounds that we, have, we know today is different from this in 1912. Near Douglas High School and Martin Luther King is where the old fairgrounds was and that what is depicted in this poster. Uh, the great thing about this poster, it shows photographs that don't exist any, any longer. Uh, the grandstands, all the different buildings, just like we have today, but these are from the original State Fairgrounds. And just a wonderful poster. The State Fair of Oklahoma doesn't have this poster. They don't have anything that's pre-1930s. Uh, they just didn't collect those things, uh, and they don't exist. But because of the Oklahoma Century Chest, we have the 1912 State Fair of Oklahoma advertising poster. You say the word American Indians, everybody thinks of Oklahoma. This photograph is a great example of the incredible look and feel of American Indian tribes. This is Quanah Parker and his band visiting Oklahoma City in 1909. He died in 1911, so this is just a couple of years before he died. But this is his band, one of his sons, three of his five wives, I think he had five wives, and they were here in Oklahoma City. They stayed in a hotel. And on the back of this photograph, and, and this photograph was also in the century chest, we had never seen this before. On the back of it, it was written in cursive that they stayed in this hotel, and it was the first hotel in Oklahoma City with an elevator. And it says the American Indian tribe tribal members went up and down the elevator all day because they'd never been in an elevator. I, I tell this story, my dad grew up in Oklahoma City. He went to the same hotel. That was the first place he went in an elevator. It was just, you know, touching that here's Quanta Parker and his band, and then my dad in the 40s, first elevator he was in, same elevator that uh, Quanta Parker and his band. But So this is literally on the background, you can see homes being built and the, they were here for a natural gas convention. They're here to do a war dance, paid to do a war dance for this convention. And this is a great panoramic photograph showing American Indians in Oklahoma. Wyman's Frame can premiere images from the Oklahoma Historical Society, as well as other artwork, photographs, memorabilia, and more. Visit us at 2501 North Utah in Oklahoma City at wymansframe.org.